Hello everyone. Hello and welcome. I'm the Black Shadow and this is Haunting Ground. The year is 2005. It's been a little while since uh, Clock Tower 3 had uh, come and gone and uh, while well, it's never been officially recognised as such, this game is at the very least its spiritual successor. Many of you guys have asked me to have a devil with this series and uh, this game and uh, give it a try. I've never played it before. I'm very curious to see what's going to come with this one. Uh, a game which, upon release, didn't sell very well. Um, this literally came pretty much at the same time as Resident Evil 4, which did all right for itself, you know? Uh, unfortunately, as is the way when you're focusing so much on a game like that, your other projects are going to struggle a little bit, as is the way it's going to be. But in that time, this game has definitely developed a cult following uh, for uh, what it brought to the table, uh, its themes, its story, um, definitely some uh, very cool underhood advancements that this game made as well in regards to just gaming in general. So very, very interesting to see what is going to come of this one. Uh, with any luck, we'll get this done within a few weeks before I go tripping on holiday. We'll see how we go. It's rock and roll. Never a good start to a video game, this. Never a good start to a video game, this. Ooh, dear. Grim. Yeah. Kind of awkward. I mean, I would be probably concerned too. It's... Not lot. Oh dear. Whoop. Well, we're not dead, so that's good. I would... I don't know about you, lady. I would not be spending another minute in this place. So immediately, I can definitely get some very uh, mid-2000 Capcom vibes about this one. Not saying that's a bad thing necessarily, but uh, it should be an interesting trip. That's for damn sure. I like the little loading thing there. It's kind of cool with the dice. And so that takes us to 
here. Wherever here is. So, this is still a kind of a survival horror sort of style of game as such. Um, it does have various tropes and things that you kind of expect as such. We still have an inventory uh, selection here, files, your map. You've got a nice little comment section here, which I, I always like to see this in kind of older style of games. Um, you know, with files, bits and pieces, very capcom -y, um, to kind of have this kind of running little internal model just to expand upon the story a little bit, get a bit of personal flavor. Um, so we were in a car with our parents. Uh, looked like there was some kind of accident of some kind. Um, unfortunately, whoever came to our rescue does not seem to be particularly um, hospitable, unfortunately. Video control types available in this game. Uh, I actually don't particularly like the standard control type. I think it's kind of a bit weird. So I'm going to run with control type C here, which just feels a bit more natural to me. But, you know, your mileage, your mileage will vary. So a few controls in particular, you have your circle button, which is your uh, ability to kind of look around the surroundings and kind of get an idea, uh, get information, that sort of thing here. I don't know. I don't know where we are. I don't know who you are. I don't know why we're here. There's a lot of things that are uh, incredibly hard to explain at the moment. I definitely say kind of the aesthetic already and kind of the uh, the music definitely feels very um, kind of like early Devil May Cry, which of course is also around the same sort of time frame as well. Just, you know, this whole kind of, um, I wouldn't quite call it like a shared universe or anything like that, but it's just, it's all that same sort of time period as you expect. Got a weird kind of red jar I can't seem to do anything with. Uh, there are a lot of controls that are currently we are not allowed to do. Um, until later on, so we can't interact with them very much. We can look around some bits and pieces here and there. That's that's about it, basically. So right here in some kind of like courtyard of some kind or another. We've got a tree. Good, very very good. So yeah, we don't really know a lot of what's going at the moment. It's just kind of a bit of uh, exploring around. Um. And again, you know, you've got kind of like your semi-fixed camera angles, again, very Resident evil as you would expect and such, so, you know, which is totally fine with me. It's a potted plant. We've got a door here of some kind. It's being blocked by a box. We will not be able to do anything about that. Got a, some kind of hole in the wall here. We is far too small for you. I'm not so sure about that. I think you're just making excuses, but sure. Whatever you say, dear. So we'll keep having a little one around here. Got a fountain. Yeah, it looks alright. And some kind of like grand estate of some kind in probably at the middle of absolutely nowhere, I guess. A little wander on down here. Mm. It's probably not good. Those are cages and such. Not good. That would seem reasonable to suggest. Look around here, okay. Door. We don't know. Doesn't look like we can open it, so that's a thing. I see shinies though. If the video game is talking anything, anything shiny is probably useful. What have we got in here? Oh. We've got chamomile! Okay, we have chamomile, everyone. Great! So again, we want to have a look on our bed ready to see what the hell everything does here. We select it, it will tell us. Chamomile, uh, completely restore lost stamina. Cool! That will probably be useful before the game is all said and done. It's kind of like barn area here. Completely derelict. Complete mess here, I'm not going to lie. Bunny! No! Come back! And even the rabbits are forsaking you, you know you are screwed. I don't think there's anything else to do much here. We're definitely going to get that door open. There's no way of that, so... Looks like our only um, way to investigate is up the stairs here, I would imagine. Maybe call some for some kind of help or something like that, some kind of SOS or, or God knows what. Fancy. Give them that. Better than my place. Let's see a light flicker from candles inside. Hmm. Got 
so great. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a, uh, a way forward here. It's shut. Okay. Well, we'll have to find a way in from out the other way around, I guess. If we ever do, my dear. Who knows? We'll see if this game has kind of decided to go a bit red herony. Very possible. Loads more of these jars here. We'll need to find a way to do something about them. But uh, nothing currently. Which is good to know. Up the stairs it is. See if we can find anyone or anything. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I prefer a normal set of clothes to these bed sheets. Oh, come on. Is this really... Priorities, for goodness sakes. Fine. We can't look at anything here until we uh, find a solution to our problems, I guess. Very striking individual. She knows. Hi. I've gathered some clothes for you. Cheers. How do you? Uh, um, uh, wait, don't go. Excuse me, but where are we? And how did I get here? Yes, Master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Great. She's a nut. Don't quite go as far as say possessed or anything, but she definitely seems a few prawns short of a galaxy. Clothes, you say? <sighs> I mean, for lack of any better options. Sure. Kind of bit awkward. Very fancy stuff, this. Clearly, our presence was, uh, not a surprise to some. Hmm. A little suspicious. I would be. Wait a minute. Huh? Remember being in the car with <sighs> We've much to learn. Much to learn. 
if you're asking me. Right, a map would be a good idea. We need to try and work out where the hell we are. This is a good idea. So now we're able to actually take on the games a bit more proper. We have action to various uh, things that we can do. Uh, we can kick. We can throw or set stuff. We can ability to crouch now. We also have a back step to use to kind of like dodge bits and pieces. However else. Which is a good idea. Uh, we can also push some bits and pieces around on the map. Uh, we can also do a charge attack uh, if we need to. If we're running for a while to try and um, get people out of the way. We do have a watch out for our stamina, however, which apparently can affect us, um, as well as other people around as well. You can't just run around all the time and um, expect to be a superhero. That is definitely not uh, what is available to us here. Uh, we are playing, I suppose, a bit more information. We are playing uh, the character of uh, Fiona, is uh, this lady's name, uh, who has found herself in unfortunate circumstances is uh, as bad as best as I can possibly describe so we'll need to find a way to get the hell out of here yeah so this will update now which is pretty cool one of the maids working unnaturally beautiful I got a custom tailored uh, suit to me right? it really clings to my shit quite nicely well it feels a little tight in the chest area for the love of god Capcom <laughs> for Christ's sakes but never never ever mind I don't have any other things to talk about as regards to Fiona and Desire and that, but I'll get about those a little bit later on. I don't know. Someone apparently important. Chest used to store clothes. Nothing else of any interest. Okay, very cool. Uh, see what the first update is about. I get pretty dark here, so that's a thing. So, one of the things that fascinates me a lot about this game is from the i had to quickly just test all bits and pieces to make sure everything was working fine this had to do a little bit of work to get the game kind of looking correct is um there's definitely a lot of uh, very cool under the hood things that are going on one thing i noticed for example is when we walked into this room here for example from a courtyard to room there was no loading sequence in fact as far as i'm aware i think there's basically no uh no leading sequences basically all in this game everything is done sort of behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff which is very very cool and i do appreciate that let me go ahead and save the game here seems a logical thing to do seems our uh our um clocks here dotted about are going to be the places for us to make the saves let's go ahead and do that that'd be very very useful um, and, you know, to be fair, considering, remember, this game came out in 2005. That's pretty damn impressive to, to have that. Very, very cool stuff. A pair of scales. Look at that purpose is more, is more one of decoration than of actually weighing things. So there's going to be a lot of exploring around and kind of working out what's going on here in the world. I suppose the TV probably doesn't work. Depends on your definition of works, I suppose. Works, it doesn't do anything though. Empty bird cage. Ooh, red herb. No, not quite. Some kind of doll here. And we have another man here. Some kind of a, some kind of a scholar of some kind. Hard to know. Hard to know. Right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back outside, I imagine. Again, from what I can tell, I feel like we've got a very open feel of what we want to do here. We can go in, we can go out, we can kind of do whatever we sort of so really desire here, which is cool. And I appreciate that, you know, game kind of not really holding our hands here. We've kind of got the uh, the world to explore by ourselves, which is all well and good. Now, I'm going to assume that uh, our ability to kick here, which we can do, I assume is a way for us to break down these various jars. It is indeed. All right. Got ourselves a medallion. Let's see if there's anything else of any interest in any of this. There is not. All right. Very cool. Uh, not that one. Medallion. Uh, metal used during the alchemic refining process. Your basic run of the mill alch alchemic component. We're doing alchemy. Okay. Seem also reason for us to make our way back into the uh, the yard here and open up the other couple of jars that we saw dotted around. Collect what we can here before we head inside into God only knows what. Got some magnesia, and we had another one. 
somewhere, didn't we? Or did we not? No, I don't think we did, actually. If we did, I've forgotten. It's fine. We'll work it out. Alright, let's get ourselves back inside here, then. But yeah, so uh, that's something that I think is really cool. Again, for 2005, it's pretty good going. Uh, it was the bane of a lot of games' existence, was being stuck, you know, with these heavy loading screens here and there. Say, so we can head through the door here, and again, it's the same again. No, you just, you just swing through, and there you are. Nice and immediate. Very, very cool stuff. Very, very cool. I appreciate that a lot. Alright. So the question is, is where do we want to go, and how do we want to go about it? It's hard to know. Uh, making it easier. This item is used by setting it on the ground. The enemy runs over the enemy, it will explode and do damage. Okay, nice, cool. So we just, for the time being, we're just gonna see what works and what doesn't, I guess. See wherever the hell we're gonna end up. Some kind of, uh, sort of like gantry airy, uh. <gasps> I think so. Jesus. He's not happy about it. I don't know why there's blood there. That's an interesting effect there. It was kind of like, like a visual effect there, but I don't know if that means more in the, the long run of things. Kind of cool regardless. It does keep going down. Man, this place is huge. We need to find a way just so we don't get lost. Okay, this door does not work. It's not for the other side. We have to just try and remember stuff for the time being, I guess. And try and just recall where we can. Pick up what information we can as well. It's kind of, it's like a library of some kind. Masterpieces fill up the shelves. You could say that. Master books down stalwart. Doesn't really matter what it is, apparently. Got ourselves some lavender. Okay. Kind of nice. Uh, lavender. So it reduces panic. <laughs> Much like uh, the previous game. Luminescence. Luminescence are tiny creatures that respond to the ethereal energies given off by Azoth. They can be used to help track down nearby Azov. However, several precautions will be taken when handling them. The rest come in direct contact with Azov if used item or being. They send forth a small charge, shocks the carrier. The resistance lifespan is dramatically decreased when they come into direct contact with the open air. All oh, great to me. Got a more internal desk here. Here we go. There's a drawer, but it is locked. Maybe there's a way for us we can find a solution to that, perhaps. Game. Thank you. This is awkward. His <laughs> eyes. This is bad. This is very bad. I think we need to get the hell out of here, kids. That is very bad indeed. Ah, Jesus. Sir, come on now. Let's be rational about this. Don't want to do that.
Wait, if I accidentally... Shit. Oh, I feel I might have accidentally like, hit by the door or something there. I'll take it, I guess. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. This is terrible. I don't even know where I'm running to. Shit, that doesn't open. Not going that way. Fuck, I've dead ended. Got some powder of some kind. Ah, fuck. This is this is bad. Sir, let's be rational. Good thing he's an idiot. Right, I'm gonna need a different solution here. Right, where the hell to go here? Down the stairs? Can't really think of anything else. We just need to try and lose him here somehow. Ooh, can we push this? Oh, we can. I guess that works. Can we shut the door? We can. Okay, I think we've made it. We're okay for now. I don't know who or what that was, but... Did not invite the idea of Huggles. So kind of like... It's not quite a kitchen. It's more like, a, like an old lab of some kind. Hmm. Have a read. The old parchment, eh? Well, I think we should have a little look. See what this is. What the hell is this? Hmm. Cool. The deciphering the Book of Origins, Sephiru Yatira has uncovered the process of creating life from earth soil. This golem needs not nourishment nor sleep. Making this urban guardian the ultimate safekeeper of our deepest alchemic secrets and knowledge. I dubbed this creature Emeth. I mean this thing? Hmm. You are right, it's definitely there's a door behind it. We will not be able to access that while that's there. Interesting. That would seem reasonable. Uh. Nothing there. I don't know if there's a degree of randomization, maybe, in the items you can pick up in, like, these uh, various uh, bits and pieces. Not too sure, folks. Not too sure. Uh. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Yeah, Alright, then. Let's carefully head back outside and hope that the coast is clear, perhaps. Got the bisque doll, bisque doll. Put her somewhere. Don't know why there's blood underneath all this. That's a bit, a bit suspicious. Nothing unusual. I highly de uh, do not agree with this statement. Came from down here. Here we go. A woman with. Wings protruding from her back. That's probably not good. Mm. Seems optimistic to me. Looks pretty derelict, this room. I don't know. This place is a mess. seen a typewriter, Fiona? Hmm. A puzzle.
Seems a good shout, right? Yeah. Not good. I mean, for lack of any other options, this seems logical. I wasn't expecting it to print out the freaking thing I typed, though. That's kind of cool. Whatever we're going to do with that plate key, I don't know. Probably, probably not a lot here. I wonder if this will work. All right. The fact that this worked, however, is disturbing, at the least. Where is it? It's a pretty shitty existence, not gonna lie. But it worked, and that's what matters. Victory is ours. Cheers, dude. Yeah, I think so, too. I'm not against this. Look at these signs on the wall. Hmm. Let's see what's behind door number one. We could probably call it a rooftop. That is definitely collapsed. That is, uh, that is going nowhere. It's very weird that it's not even that, like, the stairs are collapsed, they just... They just stop. That is weird. Guess we're going down. So, kind of, I'm up there on top of the archway. I don't think we'll be able to reach that. To find a way to try and get up there, I guess. Yeah, just kind of just just stopped. It's like almost like it's very unusual. It's kind of well. It's got all these little bits and pieces of puzzles that are sure going to come in the future. I'm going to have to try and remember half of this stuff. Let's see up with a wooden board. There's a way for us to remove that. Okay, something in here. Some more magnesia. Good, good. Why you keep your magnesia in a pot like that? I don't know, but uh, who am I to judge? A couple of door choices here. We're going to opt for this one first. Wrong answer. Yeah, we need to get a key for that. Basically, we're out of We're just on pure exploration, so this feels less like a. This feels almost like a like a little, like an internal. It's like a street, isn't it? The lampposts and everything, but we're we're clearly like indoors. I think very unusual design. I don't know what's going on here. Very very strange. Getting through there. Low? Can I help you, sir? There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. That what? Will be 
come in the future. Go ahead. Made of clay? You may touch. Disturbing. We see Fiona. I don't want to, um... I don't want to suggest that maybe you haven't quite got the idea of this game yet. Unfortunately, I think that this is where you're making the mistake. You should probably look to remedy that. Jesus. Some more camera, we'll take that. So, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of disturbing. Not, not gonna lie, kids. A key for the garden, okay, that's gonna be for outside, so I guess that's good. So I don't know who that guy was, but, um, we're not our best friend here, was it? But they wouldn't mind if I took a few of these books. Nah, I'm sure they just weighed me down. Apparently music, apparently. So, I guess that's cool. Bookshelf. Various bits and pieces. Giant harpsichord here. I don't know if anyone does, to be honest. I think it's just a way of just showing off there, probably. Some guitars down the back. Sure we can't take one as, like, you know, a defense weapon of some kind? Seems like that'd be a good idea, but uh, apparently not. Alright. Well, garden key you would suspect would be needed for the garden, right? Seems a, uh, a logical, logical guess, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use it here. Okay, I have to use it by the... Um, That's probably not good. What the hell is that? There's no firefly. Huh. I see. It's to reach a neighboring door and close the door. It cuts the luminescent sensibility and stops them dead in their tracks. Okay then, let's do it. So get in and we'll shut the door. Okay, cool. Apparently they don't possess the powers to teleport free things. So I guess that's good. I don't know. Is it? Do you want to try it? <laughs> not anything this place does. I suppose not. Hmm. Is there something that's moving something there by the sounds of it? Don't know what. Ain't getting through there that easily. There's a hook. Hmm. Maybe so. Maybe so. All right then. Well, I think this is a good point to uh, save the game here and uh, take stock of uh, what we've seen so far. Um, kind of a bit of a. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say slow start. I never like saying slow start. I don't think it's ever fair, but it looks like the game's going to uh, be prepared to take a bit of time here in kind of just developing and uh, deciding when it wants to get rock and rolling. It is not four o'clock at night, by the way, kids. That is. Uh, ignore that. It's complicated. Um, but yeah, definitely very. Very unusual game we're going to be embarking on. That's for damn sure. We've got uh, the Doll of Debilitas. 
Is that the name of the big dude, I guess? Kind of, kind of nasty. Yeah. Machine, so, judging by the fact that this hook is here, something's probably hanging. What a strange, strange place this is. What a strange, strange game this is. That's for sure. But that's going to be all for this one. So, I will thank you all for watching. It's been much appreciated. Um, and yeah, I guess next time we'll kind of get a bit more of a proper exploration into what the holes is here. Um, hard to bring any kind of immediate impressions at this point, other than I'm intrigued to see how this is going to progress and also to talk about some of the more um, notable aspects of this video game, both in its design, how it goes, as well as what this game is kind of, kind of all about. So, thank you for watching and... I'll see you then.